What's up guys? I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video we're going to be talking about the third and final day of Funko Fair 2023 reveals. And if you were here for last week's video about day two reveals I had brought up the whole meme about the distracted person and how I compared day two to day one that way. Did I think that day three was better than day two or even day one? Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think so. I know that day three started off with a huge bang, but it kind of fell flat in my opinion throughout the day. But the thing that I will give day three is that I feel like all of the items that I'm actually going to be buying throughout the Funko Fair reveals all happened on day three. Which let's kick off talking about the first reveal being the Star Wars Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary set that had various common pops of four inch and deluxe and exclusive pops that are four inch and deluxe pops. And the common pops for the four inch pops are not too bad. Like the new unmasked Vader is pretty decent. I mean, we got the C3PO, even though we've already had kind of like a deluxe form, I believe in the past. The exclusives are pretty cool. I actually kind of got really excited seeing the new Max Rebo pop involved with the set being a Walmart exclusive. We have the Hot Topic Emperor Palpatine that's pretty sweet. And with the deluxe pops, we got the new Job of the Hut, which is pretty sweet with Salacious B. Crumb. Very nice attention to detail. And you do have the Luke versus Darth Vader moments, which it actually was confirmed by a former Funko employee, one of the artists that got let go by Funko recently, he mentioned that with the base involved, you should be able to fit the Hot Topic exclusive Emperor Palpatine on top of that, which definitely makes sense because in that scene, Emperor Palpatine is sitting on his chair, which now kind of makes sense that they made it separately so that Funko is forcing you to buy both the Hot Topic exclusive Palpatine and the moments that is a common pop. And then there's the Build-A-Scene Deluxe set, which we have two announcements so far, which are Luke Skywalker and Chewbacca. This is for the famous skiff scene of when they're going to go in the Snarlack pet. And Pops, I'm for sure going to be buying some for a set, that being the brand new WWE Funko Pops, which have various commons and exclusives of four inch figures. And we got brand new WWE Covers Pops exclusive to Target. This whole entire set looks pretty decent, especially mommy which of course if you're not a wrestling fan you didn't get that mommy reference but i will go into description about these one by one for the photos so the first glam shot we have here we have bianca belair ricky the dragon steamboat and rhea ripley aka mommy so the bianca belair is all right it's the same exact molding from the previous one except now what i've noticed with the two that we've gotten is that they were their wrestlemania attires could we have gotten a different women's wrestler like let's say lita having her first pop instead of a second bianca belair pop i think so but the first ever ricky the dragon steamboat funko pop it's long overdue i really like how they pulled this off especially with the little torch in his hand with the fire on it and then rhea ripley one of my favorite women's wrestlers in today's age of WWE and I will 100% be getting this Funko Pop and of course mommy then we got the two pops of Rocky Maya Via one being common and the other being the metallic Funko Shop exclusive. I didn't necessarily think that we needed both of them. I think we should have just gotten one or the other. Either we just have a common and no metallic version or just the metallic Funko Shop exclusive and no common. But a highlight of this glam shot is a pop of the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, which I even mentioned in my wish list of pops for 2023. As terms to seeing some new WWE pops, I kind of figured that at some point we'd probably get an American Nightmare Cody Rhodes pop and it's exactly how I imagine it, his attire from WrestleMania 38 when he returned, and I will 100% be buying this pop. We got the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, which I am a little iffy on this. I do like the idea of how both of them are diamond collection because of his outfit, and I kind of like the chase on this where it's kind of like the green money color, but I mean, did we really need another Ted DiBiase? Not exactly, but I do like the addition of the Million Dollar Championship belt. And then something else that I also kind of predicted on the wish list is the WWE covers, or when I predicted it, I said WWE pay-per-view posters, which this is pretty decent. I am a little surprised the way that they came around this, where even if it's two people on the cover, they'll do a separate one for each of them. So you have Hulk Hogan and Mr. T, and they were made separately instead of made together, which I mean... 
Theoretically, I think maybe it's cheaper to buy it that way instead of getting it, let's say, a movie poster size. Next up, we have ourselves the Pop Candy lineup, which we have a Funko Shop exclusive Freddy Funko, along with some DC Pop Candies, including Batman, The Joker, and Wonder Woman. And then to add on top of that are three Care Bears Pop Candies. Now, this is a little weird because I know that they did Marvel ones back at, I believe it was New York Toy Fair 2020, right before the pandemic happened and I don't remember if they ever even hit up shelves. I'm not entirely a fan of it. It's just, you know, adding little beads into it to where it looks like candy. I don't think it's going to be edible. Next up, we have a glow in the dark Wanda Maximoff. That will be an Entertainment Earth exclusive from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. It's funny because recently I was watching this movie in preparation for our MCU podcast that releases this week. And when re-watching this scene, I thought, that'd be cool if Funko did a pop of this. And now here at day three of Funko Fair, they actually made the pop and this actually looks pretty sweet. Whether it's in the glow in the dark form or not, the detail involving the face and the glowing eyes and especially the energy on her hands looks awesome. So I'm actually glad that they made a pop of this for this movie and I think it definitely is one of the better pops for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Speaking of, I guess, Wanda Maximoff in a way, we have the fifth of 12 pops for the Captain America Civil War set, and it's of Scarlet Witch. And it was kind of to be expected that we would get this because the last two weeks at Funko Fair, we've been getting pops for this set announced with Black Panther from day one and Black Widow from last week of day two. So it only made sense that they just announce another one here for day three of Funko Fair. Next up, we have Funko Pops for the movie Willow. And these aren't too bad. I really like the addition of the cool bases involved with these pops, where you do have the name of Willow across there in gold, where it looks like it's some sort of ground as the base. And overall, these are some detailed pops. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people are super hyped about this set also. Next up, we have Funko Pops for what do we do in the shadows, which it seems like there are like five common pops and then just those five common pops slapped into a five pack exclusive to Walmart which it also looks like these pops aren't going to be releasing anytime soon because of the way the glam shots are done where it's kind of almost like a concept art instead of an actual glam shot that you would see with some of the pops we just talked about but overall I've never heard of this so I have no opinions really about what I think about the pops next up we have a Funko Gold 5 inch figure of a black light Jimi Hendrix now this is an entire too bad. I mean, there were some reveals that we were hoping that were going to get announced, but didn't. So when announcements like this happened, it was like, oh, really? This was a Funko Fair announcement? And I'm sure a lot of people are sick and tired of Funko doing a lot of the Blacklight figures. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, though, this is the first Funko Go Blacklight figure, and it definitely makes sense for Jimi Hendrix. And the colorway does look pretty decent, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get this, considering that I don't have any Funko Golds. But who knows? Maybe MD might because he does have some Funko Gold figures. Next up, we have a figure of Cindy Lauper for the Pop Rocks lineup. Now, I know we've gotten a couple Cindy Lauper pops already with a regular one and the Pop Albums, which both of them looked pretty decent. And now we have a singular one here announced. And you know what? It's still pretty decent, especially with the detail involved with the attire. Speaking of the Pop Rocks lineup, we have two versions of Cher, one being a regular one and the other being a Diamond Collection exclusive to Amazon. Amazon. Now, I don't know too much about Cher, but I do like the way that both of these pops obviously look, especially with the Diamond Collection exclusive to Amazon, where you notice that the jacket and the boots have the glitter effect. Next up, we have the fourth of seven pops for the Boruto Pop Deluxe set, and I think the character's name is Manatu Namazkaze? I don't exactly know. I have not seen Boruto yet. I've watched the original Naruto all the way through, and I've barely watched Shippuden, so I have no idea who this character is. I mean, the backgrounds of these deluxes are pretty decent, and the characters are not too bad either. It's just not my cup of tea, and especially for an anime I've never seen before. Next up, we have a Funko Soda figure of Marty McFly for Back to the Future that's going to be limited to 15,000 pieces. Now, normally, I would be excited for this because Back to the Future is one of my favorite lineups to collect, but I'm not entirely excited about 
about the difference between the common and the chase. All they did was just add that iridescent hat that you see in the second movie. It's the exact same molding where both the common and the chase are holding the hoverboard to the side and there's nothing really different, especially with the facial expression, except adding a hat on top. But I'm probably gonna get this soda regardless because I like Back to the Future. And the last reveal here for Funko Fair 2023 Day 3 reveals, that is the Dustin, Eddie, and Demo Bats Phase 3 Pop Deluxe Moments from Stranger Things. Now, I remember hearing a little bit of a rumor about this a while back, and originally I thought it was going to be like a deluxe set where you piece them all together and it is the different phases. So for it to be one of these deluxe moments is... Uh, like, I mean, it's it's not bad, but it's not good either because I hate when they're doing these deluxe moments and you're pretty much only getting two full-size characters and then the other characters, in this case being the demo bats, being like these tiny, like, kind of popified, almost mystery mini-like figures involved with this is not really giving you a bang for your buck when they've created moments like, let's say, the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation where you get four figures, and then you get the Home Alone one where you get three figures, but then you get, like, Avengers where it's only two and then a tiny character making a third, and that's the same thing here. But nonetheless, people have been wanting this moment in pop form, so I guess it's good that we have it now. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Let me know in the comments section below what what you thought of day three of Funko Fair 2023 and don't forget to do those three things like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video one two three I'm out of here